your name turned in the hall of the lair when all of a sudden coming from the shadows boo leo yelled and your name fell back with a shout ah your name grunts oh leo it's not funny they said as he was laughing i'm sorry but it's just so cute when you scream and fall over your face they puff up their cheeks as he laughed loudly man he was so lucky that he was their boyfriend or they would have kicked his ass to next tuesday but they held back and just poked a pressure point on his neck and he fell over. Ha ha, your face, sweetheart, when you fell. They smirked as Leo looked up and rubbed his neck, frowning his brow as he looked at them with saltiness. Ha, well, you're just as upset. You're just upset because you can't really actually scare me. He smiled widely with a smug look. You know what? I will take, I will take that bait. And I'll try this whole week and try to scare you. And when I win, you have to stop these pranks on Halloween forever. He thought. He thought it was over and grinned. And what if I win? They looked down. Oh god. Well, it can't be so bad. You can put me in whatever cosplayer costume that you want for this year. They rubbed their head as he jumped up. Even a kitty onesie? They sighed. <sighs> Even a kitty onesie. Wait, you're not really. He was already gone and planning. They feel like they just signed their death papers. Later on, Leo was walking around the city, getting candy and such for movie night. But then again, he doubted it was going to be a movie night since your name was planning on scaring him. It was Halloween, after all. He reached the window and knocked on it, not minding if he sounded a bit loud, since your name lived alone. They opened the window with with a greeting. Hello, Leonardo. They crossed their arms as they wore a wizard outfit. Leo blushed. It looked cute on them. Hey, darling. How is my sugar gum drop? Ready for the movie night? He smirked, acting like he knew nothing. That might be going down that night. Doing just fine. Are you ready? They said instead of answering the question. Sure, sure. Come on. He went in the room and set up the TV as your name got the snacks. Leo, for the hell of it, put Saw on because he knew your name would be all over him since they hated gore movies. Your name comes back and sees what is playing and just deadpans but says nothing as they sit down. For a few minutes, everything seems to be normal. Nothing jumping out at him or anything. He started to think that maybe they forgot about the whole thing. But that's too easy. Your name was so into this whole thing, so he doubted that was the case. So he waited, and waited, and waited. Nothing. Okay, this was odd. The movie ended, and it was the end of the night. It was a good time for him to leave. Well, good night, he says as your name gave him a kiss, and he kissed back. See you later, they smiled. Next time, pick something that won't make me sick, please. They deadpanned, but chuckled nonetheless. Hey, um, what about the whole bet thing? You didn't do anything, they blinked. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, actually, I couldn't think of anything to scare you, really. So I gave up, in a sense. Leo smiled, but he guessed he won, then. Why don't we just call it off, then? Leo's decided. Since it wouldn't be fair, they nod. Okay, well, I have to head to bed, you know. Work starts early, so I have to sleep. Love you, and be careful, all right? He kissed their cheek and nodded. Nighty night, he jumped off. Later that night, he got a phone call. Hello? Your name? He heard a scream. Leo, there's something in my house, and I can't open the window. The lights are off. They screamed again as they heard banging on the door. Your name, hang on, I'm coming there. He ran off and soon was at their place. Leo couldn't get the window open, but by the time he did, he heard lots of glass breaking and your name screaming their head off as they ran around what seemed to be the living area. Leo came in and saw your name on the floor shaking. He ran to them. What is it? What happened? They pointed and he turned. There was an unworldly face in his, and as soon as Leo figured out what it was, it screamed loudly. And thus he screamed, jumping up with your name in his arms, jumping roof to roof until he was far away from whatever the fuck that was. 
the hell on God's great earth the fuck was that thing? He jumped up and started pacing. I don't know. I just woke up and it was in my face, so I was scared. Leo was pacing but stopped as he took their shoulders in his hands. You have to move now. You can't live... You, you can live with me, and you most likely have to get a new job. Or wait, should we move to Japan? It could be following us now. He, tur he kept moving to look behind him, but soon he stopped when he heard your name laughing loudly as he stopped and stared their way. Your face. I never thought I'd get to see my strong-willed and joke-giving boyfriend to actually wet his shell. They wailed a laugh. They held their stomach. You should have seen your face. Oh man, I will never ever forget this for as long as I live. His face was dumbfounded. Then it clicked all into place. Oh hell no you didn't. But we cut it off because you, you didn't do anything. They stopped laughing. Enough to explain. That's the thing I made it seem like nothing was wrong or, or going on to throw you off. You are a prank king, so I had to play dirty. They, they shrugged sweetly as they smirked at him. That's not fair. They got up and kissed his cheek. Life isn't fair, sweetie. I know it was cheating, but hey, with you, you never play fair either. So I say we call it even. He blinked. He just couldn't wrap his head around it. But wait, what was that thing in your house anyway? Oh, that old thing? It was something my grandpa gave me for Halloween when I was a kid. Scared the hell out of me, but I kept it nonetheless. Good thing I did. He shuddered, thinking of that thing again. What the hell? Don't even ask where he got it and why he gave it to me. That would only scare you more. He paled a bit and dropped it. Tell you what, how about we pick the outfit together and we wear it for another movie night? This time, an actual scary movie, and not just a gore fic. He smiled and nods. Alright, even though you cheated, you still won, really. You got me good. I wasn't even thinking about it. You're really good at this when you're playing for keeps. They smirked. I played a win. A kiss. Well then, let's get to it then. The kitty onesie ain't sitting there any longer. He grabbed their hand. Ha, and that dog onesie is for you then. They both laughed as they went back to their place and cleaned up the mess. Leo thought it was the best Halloween ever.